You're watching OS TV. Hi guys, my name is Jasmine, and I'm here to show you some bow strikes. I'm going to show you some bow foundation stuff today. First, we're going to be working on our warm up, and of course, we're going to include the bow in that. And then we're going to be doing some stretches, some very good stretches that also apply with the bow. And then I'm going to be going over the basic strikes. Basic strikes that you can use in your form, basic strikes that you can practice, and we're going to have some fun with it. <clears throat> so what I'll be using today is going to be my lightweight competition bow. Very fancy, very light. But for training, I like to use my heavy bow. It works on my strength. It works on my accuracy with my targets. It focuses on everything that I need to gain speed with this bow. But you don't have a bow. Say so you don't have one. Go grab mom and dad and ask them to grab you a broom. We're going to take off the head of this real quick. Woo! And let's see what we can do. Yep, it works. You can use that at home. Here we go. Let's grab this thing. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. We're going to grab this thing and get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is our warm up. We're going to start off with some bow jumping jacks. We're going to keep our arms nice and straight. Let me back up real quick. We're going to keep our arms nice and straight right here. It doesn't matter where you hold the bow. It could be out. It could be in. Completely up to you. As if you're doing normal jumping jacks. I'm going to break it down for you. We're going to have our feet going out. As our feet go out, our arms shoot up just like this. We're going to bring it right back down to our belt. Again, out, up. And that's one. One, two. One, two. Let's get right to work. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and ten. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Great warm up right there. We're going to move on now to our bow push ups. And what's great about these bow push ups is how we're applying it can also be great for our punches. We can have them a little wider, bring them a little in. I should just not doing this. But we're going to keep them just at this distance. We're going to focus on these two knuckles, these bad boys right here. Here we go. I'm going to be right here. Show you my back is flat. I'm here, back flat, down and up. That's your warm up. That's number one. Let's go side profile here. Knuckles on the ground, tight fist, center of the bow. Back is flat, down and up. You guys ready to get started? Let's grab those bows and here we go. Back flat, knees up. One, two. Three, how we doing? Four, five, backs flat, butts down. Six, seven, let me finish with you. We got eight, nine, and 10. Breaking a sweat, getting started. We're just getting started, here we go. Last one, number three, we got sit-ups. Those sit-ups are gonna go all the way up, chest bring it to our knees. Of course, using the bow again. We're going to have our arms flat and straight all the way behind our head. We're going to bring it all the way to our toes. Ready? Laying down. Keep those heels on the ground. Keep our abs engaged. Here we go. Laying flat. We got one here. Arms stay straight. And here. Let's get started, guys. Ready? And hold your bows however you want. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, you got it. Five, keep breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more, guys. And five, finish strong. Four, heels down. Three, Two, last one, and one. Hey, we did it. You guys finished strong. Excellent job. That is our warm up. Breaking down 
things that you guys can do at home, things you can practice at your studio. I want you guys to have fun with it. Let's get it. Next thing, we're going to work on those stretches. First stretch is going to involve our wrists. We want to work on our wrists because we want to increase the mobility in them. We're going to use it a lot during our strikes. Rotating our punches, rotating our chambers, all of that good stuff. We also want to focus on our reducing the injury for it. Every stretch that we do prevents injury. We also need to loosen those joints. That's our first stretch we're going to get to. Here we go. Our bow is out here. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. I'm going to have my right hand shoot over to the left side of my bow. And then I hold. I need the longest part of my bow. Give me a nice horizon. Flip it over. Grab and hold. 10 seconds. Here we go. 10. Nice and straight. 9. 8. Good job. 7. 6. 5. Here we go. Uh, 4. 3. 2. And one. Other hand, left hand, right side of the bow. We got a little to nothing over here. Long side, big horizon. Grab and drop. Here we go. Another 10. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Halfway. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent job. That's our wrist stretch. Next two is for our shoulders. We want to get strong because we're going to feel it. Trust me, after these strikes, we're going to feel it. Here we go. I'm going to shoot my right arm out first. I want to hold one side of the bow, preferably on my right side. But it doesn't particularly matter because I'm going to be pointing out here. I'm pointing at you guys at the bow. I see you guys at home. Point that bow at me. Here we go. I'm pointing out straight. We're going to act like we're pouring out coffee, pouring out something in a cup. Dump it down, just like that. You can see my hand. It's a reverse vertical punch right there. Here we go. Shoot the back of the bow up to your armpit. I need to push my arm down so the bow comes up. I will grab and pull. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one hurts. Not really. Feels good. It's a good stretch. Here we go. Side profile just like this. Arm is flat. Oh, I look like a swimmer. Holding this bow like I'm swimming. And hold. Five more seconds. Five, four, Try to go as high as you can. Three, two, and one. Are you guys sweating? We did that warm up. Now we're stretching out. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Left hand, point out. Pour that cup out. Put it right behind you. Straight arm like this. Drop that arm. Grab and pull. Lovely stretch. I love this one. We do this all the time. I do this all the time. Ooh, yeah. Hold it for 10, 9, try to lift your arm up, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. We did our right side, we did our left side. We got one more shoulder stretch, everyone's favorite. As I get older, I need to be doing this more often. The first time I did it in a very long time, I felt it, I felt it. But I'm getting better at it. Here we go. I got my arms here. You can keep them nice and wide. You can keep them nice and close, depending on your shoulder rotation. It's all up to you guys. Here we go. You know what's best for your body. I'm going to keep my arms out just a little bit more than shoulder width. You can see me. I'm right here. I'm going to rotate all the way arching back and bringing it back forward. Ready? One, two, arms straight, three, Nice and easy. Four, five, six, seven. You guys got it. Come on. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Beautiful. Give yourself a big pat on the back. We did our warm up, we did our stretch. You guys did great. All right, we've got to go into our strikes now, the most important part. OK, here we go. This is what you came here for. These basic strikes are going to be mean. They set the foundation for your bow, like I said earlier. I want you guys to hit hard. What I mean by hit hard is hit the sides of your body when we're doing these strikes. You want to feel it. Trust me, you'll feel it. Um, you also want to have the accuracy of your technique. And I'll explain 
with your hand positioning of this bow, how you're gonna execute your hands with the bow, your extensions, all that is gonna create the almost, nothing's perfect, but almost perfect strikes. Let's get started on the hand position. I got my right hand right here. I'm gonna push it to this side of my bow, the right side of my bow. My arm is going to be up just like this. My left hand rotates down. Right arm up, left hand down. Next thing as I'm going to focus on my right hand being my dominant side. My dominant, it's going to lead my techniques. All the techniques I'm about to show you. My left hand is flexible. I call it flexible because it moves in its direction. I could be at the end, end of my bow, I could bring it closer to my bow, and it's going to guide my strike, and I'm almost using it like I'm playing an instrument. When I'm throwing my strikes, this will allow my techniques to flow. You want it to flow. You don't want it to be nice and stiff. You want it to go naturally where it needs to be. So remember, right hand up, left hand down. Your right hand is your dominant. It is going to lead the strike. It is going to be your focal point. Like you're throwing a technique, AKA like a punch. Your technique is an extension of your, sorry, your weapon is an extension of your hand. It's an extension of your hand. So if you're throwing punches from here, I got my technique out here. This will be my chamber as I rotate. Boom, boom. For my strike, boom. I'm in that same position. Believe it or not, it's the same thing, just a little bit extended. All right, here we go. Let's get started on these strikes. I also want to make a point that I am also a righty, so that's why my techniques are going to be on my right side. But hey, if you're a left-sided person, that's OK. You can still work this weapon. You're just going to be a little bit opposite of everything I'm doing right here. That means that your left hand's going to go up, your right hand's going to go down. This side might be a little bit more dominant than this when you're playing your instrument or just using your weapon to flow with that technique. All right, you guys ready to get started? Here we go. Grab those weapons. Right hand up, left hand down. First strike we're going to break down is I call it my right side strike because it's going to be going to my right side. All my targets for these strikes are the center of my chest. Okay, my right side strike starts on my right side. I go here, it's belt level. I want to bring my hand up. As I do this, the back side of my bow, which is lined up with my left hand, because my left hand is my flexible hand, which is right here, I'm going to bring that to the front. Now I need to rotate it down to finish. My left hand is being flexible, and I'm striking to the center of my chest. My right side strike. Let's try that again. Right hand up, left hand down. This side is flexible. This side is dominant. My flexible side needs to be the one doing the rotation. Here we go. Lift it up all the way above your head. We don't want to conk anybody in the head. Here we go. We're going to lift our left side going to the front, our flexible side, dropping it, continuing that stripe going down. Now, why did that strike look smooth? Even though I did it slow, because I let my left hand be flexible. I can't say enough how important it is for your left hand to be flexible to let your technique flow. So let's get a little bit closer so you can see my technique. I'll go sideways. My right hand is up, left hand down. I shoot my bow up and watch as I'm shoulder width apart. As I go here, I'm going to drop it. My hand is open to complete that strike on my side. I need it to be about under my elbow. That's where it naturally goes to. That's where it naturally is gonna follow, where it's always gonna be for this side. Here we go. Down, up, left side going to the front, slowly dropping it down, strike to the side. That is your right side strike. When we're practicing, getting stronger, we'll work on our horse stand section a little later, but this is gonna be a valuable part to it. So when I'm here, we're gonna go up, rotate down, boom. Now let's work on the power side of it. Everything, whether it's the back of the bow or the front of, front of the bow, is going to be focused on the center of your chest to the front. I need to strike forward, strike back. This completes the technique. One, two. One, two. All together, up. Rotate down. One, two. One, two. When I'm doing my strikes, I don't want no figure eight motion with it. I need my bow to be straight across. Here, one, two. Hit that side, it's gonna hurt, but I promise you that technique will be so much more accurate like it needs to be. Here we go, one, two. One, two. Let's practice this 15 times. Here we go, we got going to the back, going to the front. One, two, that's one. Two, three. Can you hear that? Four, 
five, six, seven, you got it, eight, nine, ten. Five more, push yourself. One, two, three, hit it, four, last one, five. Good job. If you were hitting yourself, I promise you feel it. If not, it's just a comfort level you got to get experience to do. The more you practice, the more consistent you practice, you'll get better at it, I promise. Now let's focus on our left side strike. Our left side strike, it's going to finish exactly the same like a punch. Instead of my left hand being tucked under my right elbow, I need it to be pushed back with my elbow up high. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to lift my bow up, and I need to strike down this way. My elbow is up. It's tucked under my armpit, and this is finishing this direction. It's almost in front of my chest, not tucked all the way back here, so I lose control of it, but right here. And look where my front hand's landed, right in that punch position. Nice job. Here we go. Up, strike down, nice and center. To finish this strike, work on the power, the accuracy of your technique. We're going to strike forward, one, two, one, my elbow drops slightly, hitting my right side shoulder, two, let's try that again, up, finish the strike, under that armpit, let's turn a side, side profile, here we go, up, wrist goes forward, tuck under the armpit, nice and even, nice job, here we go, we're going to finish the strike, we're going to go here, one, Two, 15 times with this left side strike. Rotate that wrist, hit that shoulder, hit under your arm. You guys got it, here we go. One, level, two, three, come on, four, push yourself, five, six, hit it, seven, come on, eight, nine, and 10. You guessed it, five more, one, two, Three, center your chest, four, five. Beautiful, right side strike, left side strike. Those are our basics, but guess what? There's one more, and this is what I like to call the helicopter. It is a combination of your right side to your left side. No need in bringing the back of your bow to the front to finish your technique and hit it solid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna helicopter bringing your right side and left side together. Here we go. Right hand up, we're gonna start with our right side strike first. Right hand up, left hand down. If you're a lefty, switch it on up. You're gonna start with the other side first. Over your head, strike down. Over your head, half circle. You don't wanna complete it this way because then you're gonna be rotating your hand. Big no-no, never switch your hands over. Complete that strike always with right hand up, left hand down. Bringing it up, striking down. Here we go. Over your head, right side strike. I know you heard it. Here we go, over the shoulder, half circle, drop it forward. One, two, just like that. Fast, finish that technique nice and strong, accurate through the center of your chest. You guys got it, let's get working. One more time, nice and slow, over your head, right side strike, beautiful. Not here, here, boom, nice and flexible. Ooh. Here, up and over, left side strike. Let's get working, guys. One, two, three, ooh, I hit my head. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do ten more. With this ten more, we're gonna go right side, left side, not breaking it down nice and easy. We're gonna go bop, bop, get right there. Finish each technique. You got it, here we go. One. Two, three, four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent job, excellent work today. We worked on our warm ups. Get those warm ups done at home. We're gonna work, we worked on our stretching, stretching for our shoulders, stretching for our wrists. Finally, we finished strong with those bow strikes. Remember, it's okay to hit yourself. Ooh, driven. It's okay to hit yourself. You want to hit so your technique comes stronger. Practice with a heavy bow. If you got a broom, practice with that broom. All right, guys, have fun and get to work. See ya.